guys. So today I thought I'd share with you a few of my favorite items that I use in cross stitch. Um, I see a lot of these videos on YouTube where people are always showing off their current favorites and what they like in um, what they enjoy in their everyday life. So I have uh, some unexpected quiet time today. So I thought I'd take definitely take advantage of it and make up a, a video. So um, my husband is out doing grocery shopping. I know, I'm lucky. Um, my son is out on his dirt bike with a friend and my daughter has gone to her friend's house. They have a project, uh, a cooking project that they have to do. So they're gonna be cooking up a storm this afternoon, getting ready for their project when they go back to school on Tuesday. Uh, here in Canada, it's our Thanksgiving weekend. So we are all off on Monday. Um, the kids were actually off on Thursday, Friday, and they're off on Monday. I'm off on Monday. Unfortunately, though, my husband has to work because in Canada, it's not a statutory holiday in some provinces, but uh, we have the great opportunity to have it off. So I'm very grateful, very happy to have a nice weekend to relax. So yeah, so I want to get started and show you all what I love to use when I'm cross-stitching what products I use and you know maybe if you get inspired and you see one that you like you might want it. Um, I'm going to start off with my first current favorite magazine. Um, definitely when I first started cross stitching it changed. I noticed that my um, style of stitching has changed. I was stitching from mainly cross country stitching. Then I discovered through the wonderful world of floss tube different designers like Brooks Books, um, Little House Needleworks, and I just recently discovered uh, Shepherd's Bush, which was on Nicole's Needlework, and my goodness, that oh, she has beautiful projects. Um, if I, I should remember, and I will link her below, and uh, you can check out her channel, because my goodness, that woman, she can stitch. So through her, I've discovered Shepherd's Bush, um, which is seems like a really awesome designer and back in when I first started I don't think that that would have appealed to me but now that I'm getting older we live in the country um, I like that style so I'm gonna start with my first magazine that I with my first current favorite cross stitch magazine and it is the Stony Creek summer 2016 I did show this in one of my other videos as a haul that I had recently got I love everything about this, as you can see from my many bookmarks of the projects that I want to do. <laughs> so there are just so many, and I did do a flip through um, in my previous one. The current favorite project in here that I'm going to be doing is Harvest Blessing. So I've got my material all ready, and I'm going to be starting that. Isn't that cute? I love the little blackbird and I love, of course, the pumpkins. So I thought that was really cute. And I'm going to be doing this on a piece of scrap fabric. It's 20 count Arosia. Well, I only paid $4 for this. It was just in their little scrap bin that they have left over, which I like to go through once in a while and just pick out some nice little ends and make little, you know, ornaments out of but it's such a cute little fabric. So that is on my list. I don't know if I'm gonna get started on that one today, but it's, it's definitely there. So that is, again, my favorite magazine, current favorite, Stony Creek Cross Stitch, and it's summer 2016. Love everything about it. I definitely think it's a, a good buy. You know, it has multiple projects in here that I do wanna stitch. Um, I'm not going to go through each one. I do have that in another video. Um, but that is definitely my current favorite uh, magazine that I'm currently enjoying. Throw that over there. Um, so, of course, before I started on Floss Tube, I had no idea what a needle minder was. I was like, what is a needle minder? What are they talking about? I quickly got into it. <laughs> and this is my ultimate favorite, favorite needle minder. I'll put that a little bit closer. That is Rick and Daryl from my favorite TV show, The Walking Dead. 
Love it. I got this from Minding My Minders. It was a group on Facebook. I believe they are still a group. But that is my favorite, current favorite needle minder. Now the only thing with this is because it's my favorite, I want to put it on every project. But I don't, so I keep it clipped onto my, um, my lamp and it's always with me. <laughs> I always glance over at Rick and Daryl. They're so cute. And then my current favorite that I'm using is this cute little blade. It was a freebie from the World of Cross Stitching magazine. It has blades on the inside, so you just take your floss. Um, I'll just sacrifice this little piece. So you just take your floss and you snip it. I love the way that it, it just snips and it's, uh, it's quick, it's handy, and I like it. So I'm currently just using this. I do have my scissors, but I uh, can't seem to find them. So, because my kids, you know, they take them and then they don't return them. So, but this they can't take. So I always have it here in my cart, which you're currently sitting on, which is filled with all of my cross stitch projects. Now my second favorite, current, my third favorite, I should say, where I keep all of my needles is this cute little needle pin keep that I got at my local LMS. So sweet. And when you open it up, you have your various you have your various needles. I really enjoy this. It keeps all my needles together. Before I used to just keep them in the projects themselves, but then I decided that that wasn't a good thing to do. Cuz you know, they would snag or, you know, rip your project, so now I just keep them all in here and it's nice and small and then I just put it in my bag and then off I go. My next favorite is my, this is my favorite project that I have stitched to date. And it's Welcome to Our Patch. I love this one very much because it has my pumpkins in it that I love. And I did this on a Ada, or excuse me, on an Afghan material. And I put the, um, I did like an orange uh, DMC floss for the edges and I just braid it. So this one I take out every year and I put it on my uh, little stand that I have that displays my Afghans. So, yeah. It's a little bit crinkly, uh, so I do have to work out some of the creases, but that is my favorite project to date. And this I did in 2008. Whoops, sorry. Let's find my initials on the bottom right there. So that is my current favorite product or project that I have. Um, and pumpkins are my current favorite thing to stitch, uh, so I'm very happy with that one. Um, my current favorite designer um, is Brooks Books. I discovered her um, a couple weeks ago when I was watching someone on Floss Tube. I think it was Garrett, the coffee stitcher. Um, I did see that you were doing. Um, yeah, I think it was you and the Stash Queen, you were doing the Wizard of Oz. And I liked the style of it, and then I found it in a Cross Stitch and Needlework magazine. So I definitely enjoy Brooke's books, and I will link her below. She has a great website, and they have freebies on there. And I did download most of the freebies, so I just need to go ahead and stock up on some perforated paper. Uh, my next Cross Stitch favorite is this. It's a little cheap little thing, but I really like it. It's um, a project bag, and I found this at the dollar store. So I really like it. It's pretty big, as you can see, and it expands you know, pretty well on the bottom there. It's got a little room. Um, it's currently housing my favorite uh, design, which is Mirabilia. And wouldn't you know it, I did not bring her out. I took the photo off and I put it in um, her own separate container with all the floss.
floss. But definitely Mirabilia is my favorite of all time um, designer as well. Um, I do like her. My favorite is the Sabrina. Um, and I'm so sorry I didn't bring it out before I started the video. I thought it was all good to go. And, uh, but yeah, it's uh, Sabrina. I wonder if I could quickly just run into my room and uh, I will grab that. I'm going to come right back. Um, hmm. I don't have a cat to entertain you because one is sleeping. And I don't know where the other one is, but I'm going to be right back. Ah! <laughs> Nothing like being ready. Um, so this is Sabrina. Isn't she beautiful? Like, she is so beautiful. So she is my current favorite uh, pattern that I'm stitching. Uh, I just love her. Love her dress, love everything about her. And I got this idea of putting um, all of my floss and everything just for the Mirabilia's in one container. So this is what I have so far. Um, I'm going to be getting the beads and then just keeping everything together so that when I'm, excuse me, so when I'm ready to stitch her, I can just pull it out and away I go. So that is Sabrina. Um, and I've showed you that. So that is all that I have for my current favorite cross stitch projects. So I'm going to actually just do something a little bit different. I'm going to show you what I currently use products in my everyday life. Uh, so it's not cross stitching related. Well, kind of it is. Um, I love tea. This is Twinnings the Earl Grey tea. I love use, uh, making a cup of this and sitting down and stitching. So it would be stitching related. It's a very good tea. It is a light and aromatic blend of fine black tea scented with bermagot, which is a citrus fruit. This is the best tea that I have ever had. So I definitely enjoy it and I buy this by the box. Um, I also enjoy iced tea and I like nest tea. Uh, this is just the mix, your standard mix. So I mix that up and then I have a cup. Um, have to be careful like this does have sugar in it I don't like the non sugar stuff I if I'm gonna drink iced tea I want to drink iced tea so um, I have, was drinking one a day sometimes two which contributed to a little bit of extra pounds whoopsies um, but I can't just stop <laughs> um, so second uh, so next I should have, I should say, is my favorite movie of all time, which is Dirty Dancing. I love, love, love this movie. I've, I've seen this movie so many times. Um, I love it. I've stitched while I watched this movie. Uh, everything. Patrick Swayze is... Oh, he's just a dream. And, uh, yeah, it's a very good movie. Um, so when they came out with this one, I had to buy it. It's the ultimate edition. It's a very, very good movie. I remember I watched this when my, uh, my mother had came for, come down for a visit. And I watched it with my mom, and she was so embarrassed. Because, you know, the dancing and stuff. And I'll never forget that. It was the first time I seen it, and I watched it with my mother. Yeah, and I was only 13, I believe, 12, 13 at the time. Yeah, when did this come out? Um, I should know this because it's like my favorite movie, but I think it definitely came out in the 90s for sure, so yeah. I'm not very good at math, so I could, you know, subtract, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> 
Um, my current favorite TV show is The Walking Dead. Love The Walking Dead. I cannot say enough about it. Now, normally I try to get my videos and my updates done on Monday. Um, this is season one. I do. I've watched all the others, of course. Uh, um, so, The Walking Dead returns September 23rd, and it's supposed to be a pretty good episode where we find out who badass Negan has killed. Um, so I tried to get the day off of work. I'm not joking. I really did because I thought, you know what, <laughs> I'm going to probably be so upset because when you've watched this show for as long as it's been out, it'll be the sixth, sixth season. Um, no, season seven, I'm sorry. This... When you've watched it for as long as that I have, you get really invested in these characters and you just want them to, you know, be safe. And I know it's a show, but you just, I don't know. I'm just gonna, yeah, so I'm getting myself mentally ready because I heard it's a really big tearjerker and that it's gonna just grab you by your ass and just knock you off your ass. So I'm very excited to, you know, to watch it. Um, and actually, uh, we have a zombie manor that, uh, we have a zombie manor here in my area and a couple friends of mine at work we were like, do you want to go? And I'm like, yeah, I want to go. Like, are you kidding me? And they're like, okay, you can go, but you can't tap out. So I said, okay, okay, I'll be all right. So what I mean by tap out is that when you're walking down, the, the idea is to walk down and uh, like a you know, walk down a hallway and then these zombies come out and they scare you. So it's just like a haunted house type thing, but all filled with zombies. So when they come and they tap you, you have to, or when, if you want to get out, I'm sorry. I'm just so excited about being able to go. Um, but when you have, if you get too scared, if you get too upset, you can say, I'm done. I'm tapping out. And then you go out aside, like they're, multiple doors that are set up along the way that go outside so um there was a last group there there was about over a hundred of them they all go together and out of that group there was 30 people that tapped out uh, one lady actually had a heart attack when she was in there so they're telling people that if you have heart issues or heart problems don't go which would make sense because you're really going to be scared um so I'm looking excited. I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to that. Um, so that was a little sidetrack, but yeah. So this is my favorite show of all time. Like, Actually, yeah, it's my current favorite. My favorite show of all time is Six Feet Under, but I left that in my room because I'm haven't. i not watching that. I do have it on DVD, but I'm not currently watching it. So this is my current favorite. Um, the next is my current favorite book. Uh, this is called The Couple Next Door. The author is Sherry Lapina. This is an amazing book. Um, a friend of mine at work loaned it to me. I am almost done. I plan on finishing it this weekend because it's a long weekend here. Um, and actually, I'll probably finish this tonight. I usually like to read before I go to bed. And sometimes on my break, you know, at work, I'll sit and read if I'm not uh, sitting with anyone or chatting with anyone. Um, so yes, this is my current favorite book. Uh, I will definitely be planning on doing maybe like a little mini review uh, in one of my book, book, booky talk videos. So yeah, this is a good book. Um, and of course, sometimes I don't usually snack while I'm stitching because I don't want to get, you know, my stitch dirty or anything, but sometimes I can't resist. So these are my current favorite um, snacks. Sorry for the crinkling. These are by Hostess. I don't know if you have those anywhere other than Canada. I don't know if these are in the U.S. So this is my current favorite uh, chip. Uh, they are called hickory sticks. Um, they're very yummy. I'm almost... <laughs> Sometimes I just sit and I mindlessly, mindlessly eat. But those are hickory sticks and they are potato sticks. They're very good. 
Love them for the crunch, love them for the munch, love them for the taste. Put them back. So yeah, so that is all my current favorites. Um, I just wanted to come on here and do a little quick video, just a little get to know me a little bit better. Um, where I'm sitting is my favorite stitchy spot in the whole house. Um, I love it over in this corner. And I just noticed that that's not in the frame. Like that. So I hope everyone has a great rest of your weekend. Uh, to anyone in Canada, happy Thanksgiving. Hope you all enjoy your turkey. Um, I know I'm making one tomorrow myself and I've got some little bit of family coming over, um, the ones that can make it. So it should be nice, nice and quiet day. Uh, so yeah, so I hope you guys all have a great weekend. I hope you like this video. Um, I plan on doing it again, um, you know, maybe maybe a monthly thing. I'll put it up when I'm currently favorite in cross stitch. Um, and I'm happy I was able to do this because I didn't know when I'd be able to get a chance. But when you live in a house with kids and you're, you know, you never know what's going to happen from one minute to the next. So I knew my daughter was going out, but I didn't know my son would be going out as well. So he just told me he's going to go out with a friend and go on his dirt bike. His dirt bike kind of scares me a little bit, but um, I know he's pretty safe. He's got all his gear on and, and my daughter's going to have fun. So while they're having fun and while there's, while my husband's getting the groceries, <laughs> um, yeah, I hate groceries. I hate getting groceries. I'm going to tell you a little rant and then I'm going to sign off. So my rant is this, and this is why I don't get groceries. Okay, my rant is that normally I'm a very nice person. Please don't think that I'm not. I go to Walmart when I'm crazy and when I have to really get something. So a couple weekends ago, I went to Walmart. Big mistake. I went on a Saturday. Another big mistake. So I go into Walmart and I'm like, okay, I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to run in grab what I need and get the hell out because Walmart on a Saturday to begin with is freaking crazy. So I said, I'm just going to run in. I'm going to grab what I want and get the hell out. Do you think that happened? No, because everyone in their crazy mind and their friends were at Walmart on this one particular Saturday. And why did I go at this time? Because I had to go and I really wanted to get it over with. And why? Because I was crazy. I went between uh, 11 a.m. and 1. Stupid. Stupidest time to go. But I was in the area and I had to run in and go. Anyway, on to my rant. Why do these people with these big carts feel the need to stop in the middle of the aisle? Really? Really? Do you have to read what it says on your waffle box? Do you have to read what the apples say? They're apples! Put them in your cart and move the half out of the way. Like, for fuck's sakes, move. Why? Why? <laughs> I tell you, when I go into Walmart, I turn into a crazy person. I'm like, don't even recognize myself. So filled with people that are just like, think that they own the whole aisle and it's so cluttered in there. Like, why do they have to have it so cluttered with all this stuff in the middle of the aisle? Can't you find another spot to put these things? Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Even as I'm talking about going to Walmart, I'm getting excited. So I'm going to go and I'm going to try to calm down. I'm going to drink my iced tea. I'm going to stitch and I'm going to watch my main man, Kiefer. Uh, Sutherland on Designated Survivor. And I apologize for my little rant. I got off on a sidetrack as soon as I started mentioning that my husband was getting groceries. Ugh. He's much better at getting groceries because he doesn't care. So, All right. So hope you all have a good rest of your weekend. I will definitely try to come back on Monday and post any projects that I got done. I did manage to pull out a ton of other projects that I do want to get working on and hopefully I can. And uh, yeah, so enjoy the rest of your day everyone and uh, thanks for stopping in. Thanks for subscribing and I hope you like this video. Have a great day. Bye.